Hi, I'm Michael from Rhino Rack. Today I'm here to show you how simple and easy it is to use the new Rhino Rack side boat loader. The first thing you need to do is set up and position your ramps. The ramps are located in the ramp holder brackets in the underside of the boat loader crossbar. To remove these ramps, simply loosen the nylon knob and lift the flap up. Then pull out the ramp. The next thing we need to do is connect the ramps into the hook connectors. When doing this, keep in mind that there is a front and a rear ramp. The way we work this out is, on the lower section of the ramp, the knobs are facing inwards. So this means, this is the front, and this is the rear. So now we know which is the front and rear ramp. To fit the ramp, place the curved end of the ramp into the hook connector. Slowly raise and lower the ramp until the correct angle is achieved to allow the ramp to drop into position. Make sure the ramp is fully engaged and slotted into the hook connector prior to lowering the ramp to the ground. This avoids damage to the ramp and hook connector. Lower the ramp to the ground ensuring it's in line with the boat loader crossbar. Now that both the ramps are fitted and lowered to the ground, you can adjust the telescopic leg to get your desired ramp angle. To do this, simply loosen the nylon knob at the base of the ramp and adjust the telescopic section of the leg out, then re-tighten the knob. When setting up on uneven ground, the legs will be set at different lengths. A simple check to ensure both ramps are set at the same angle is to look down the side of the vehicle and visually align the ramps. This will indicate if the ramps are uneven. If the ramps are still uneven, adjust the telescopic legs again and repeat the visual alignment. Once both the ramps are fitted in and adjusted to the desired length, it's now time to locate your boat and connect your ropes for loading. Next we need to connect the short ropes to the eye bolt on the underside of the ramps via the snap hook. Then connect the short rope to the near side of the boat via the snap hook. Once this is done, repeat the process on the rear ramp. Now you've connected your short ropes, you now need to connect your long winch ropes. To do this, you need to loosen the winch ropes. Connect the drill to the drive shaft. And simply loosen. Now that we've loosened the winch nut ropes enough, we now need to disconnect them and connect them to the eye bolts on the far side of the boat. Alright, you're almost ready to load your boat, but before you do, let's just do a quick safety check. Ensure all ropes are running on the inside of the ramps. No tangles, all knobs on the lower half of the ramps are tight and on the ramp holder brackets are tightly secured. Oh, one last thing, make sure no one's left anything loose in the boat. Okay, let's load the boat. Ensure the drill's in the loading position and watch your boat easily load onto the roof of your vehicle. Just a quick pointer, when we load the boat we need to stop the boat just as it touches the gunnel stop and reverse the winch rope slightly to avoid damage to the worm drive. Now we need to secure the boat to the boat loader using the ratchet straps provided. Loop the first strap around the winch and over the boat loader crossbar like so. Throwing the remaining strap over the boat. Repeat this process for the front strap. Next connect the strap to the ratchet feeding the loose end through the axle 
and back out the top. Now loop the strap with the ratchet end over the top sliding bar of the boat loader. Adjust out the excess and tighten it like so. Tying off all excess rope. Again, repeat this process for the front strap. Now it's all secure, let's get going. Hi, me again. We've finally reached the water, so let's get this boat off and go boating. Right, so now you've seen how simple and easy it is to use the new Rhino Rack side boat loader. I'm Michael from Rhino Rack and we'll see you next time.